Okay, today for the first time we're going to be reviewing a beer in the category of Saison or Farmhouse Ale. Have not uh, re reviewed this category uh, yet and haven't really uh, had too many beers uh, in this category as a matter of fact. So this is our first Saison Farmhouse Ale. It's uh, from Omegong Brewery in Cooperstown, New York. 7.7% uh, ABV volume. It's their Omegong Hennepin Saison. Uh, Saison uh, ales have been basically brewed for years and years in Europe and kind of have fallen by the wayside uh, until kind of recent years uh, when there's kind of become an American re renaissance um, of the style, of the uh, Saison style. Now traditionally uh, these beers were brewed in, uh, in countries such as Belgium by farmers um, in the wintertime uh, for consumption in the summertime, so hence the word or the term farmhouse ale. Um, very complex style. You're going to get some fruity tones uh, in uh, this beer. Also some very earthy yeast kind of tones. Um, very spicy. Uh, a lot of different kinds of uh, saisons out there brewed with all sorts of different things. Uh, this one uh, in, gen in a particular is brewed uh, with ginger, coriander, and uh, orange peel uh, as well. So uh, this is uh, one of the more uh, renowned, actually probably one of the, if not the most popular saisons uh, on the market right now is a uh, hennepin, and this is the uh, hennepin logo. And if you're wondering why it's called hennepin, well, it says why it is on the bottle. Father Hennepin was the Belgian missionary who discovered Niagara Falls. And Omegang's hennepin is a rare saison farmhouse ale. It's pale, hoppy, crisp, and rustic, and like Tintin, Magritte, and Audrey Hepburn, hennepin is famous, but not for being Belgian. It's from Cooperstown, New York. Okay, we're going to open up uh, Omegang Hennepin, and I'm um, being told that the best vessel to drink this is the tulip glass, so we have our Mad Elf tulip, and we're going to slowly pour, as the Omegang bottles say, pour slowly as to not disturb the sediment, and we'll pour a little bit in here up to the top of the elf's hat, and we'll see a nice fluffy, uh, very um. Very white, fluffy head. Um, lots of bubbles in this uh, ale. It's a very golden, very yellowish golden color, um, which uh, you know, fully expecting uh, with the Saison style. A lot of Saisons are like this. Very fine particulates, fine bubbles uh, coming up uh, in this ale. Just a very fluffy, uh, almost wheat beer kind of uh, appearance, uh, as the head is not really dis dissipating uh, with too much um, fervor. And uh, it's got some legs on it. Definitely has uh, has some complexity that you can just kind of just tell just by kind of the hazy, uh, cloudy, and murkiness of, of this beer. So let's get the aroma of Omegang Hennepin. Definitely getting a ginger kind of, uh, light kind of ginger smell to this. Uh, um, obviously it's brewed with ginger. Um, coriander, uh, I don't really really recognize the smell of coriander, so I really can't pinpoint exactly what coriander smells like. I am getting the orange peel, though. I'm picking up the orange peel scent uh, of this beer. Um, almost a wheat, a very faint wheat beer kind of smell in the Hennepin Saison. But get, definitely getting that citrus, that orange citrus, not the lemon citrus, which we can kind of associate with the IPAs, the West Coast IPAs, or the grapefruit kind of citrus kind of smell, but I'm definitely getting um, an orange peel smell to this beer. So uh, it's a nice kind of refreshing kind of smell to it, and we'll see how it tastes. Hit with the uh, lemon peel right away, the lemon and ginger right um, in the uh, forefront of uh, of this beer. It's It's effervescent. Um, it's got um, a hoppy characteristic uh, uh, that probably um, is more so than uh, many Saisons. This is a very hoppy Saison. By saying a hoppy Saison, it's not, you know, the most hoppy beer in the world. It's just hoppy, I guess, for a Saison. Uh, definitely getting the lemon, getting the, 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 the citrus taste uh, on this uh, beer, getting a bit of a bitterness 
on the beer and a very dry kind of finish uh, as well. It's not um, it, it's not a very wet kind of beer. It's not a very um, um, all kind of uh, uh, fruity kind of other than the citrus part of it. Not not a very um, sweet kind of beer. It's, it is got some bitter tones. Um, that said, it it probably would pair well with Asian food. I would think um, something spicy. Uh, maybe even some Mexican food a little bit, possibly, although IPAs usually pair with them a little better. Um, not too familiar with the Saison style, however, this is a very good tasting beer, um, and I'm going to give Omegang Hennepin an 8 out of 10.